Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to share with you everything that is in my carry-on. We're going to be flying to Puerto Rico in just a couple of days. So this morning I spent my entire morning getting my carry-on bag ready for the plane. One thing that you need to know about me is I am really not a good flyer. <laughs> I don't like flying at all, but I love to travel. So when I am going to be spending a lot of time on an airplane, this particular flight is going to be four hours long, I need stuff that's really going to keep me busy and keep my mind occupied. Otherwise, I just like totally start to freak out. And I know a lot of you guys feel the same way because a few of you have actually reached out to me and told me that you also have a hard time flying, but I am not going to let it keep me from doing all of the things that I am so excited to do and there are so many wonderful and amazing places to travel to in the world so I'm just gonna keep myself busy with my 14 pound <laughs> carry-on backpack and I'm gonna show you guys everything that I'm bringing on the flight with me I did actually weigh this with a luggage scale and it is 14 pounds. It feels a lot heavier to me, but what I like about this very basic and traditional Jansport backpack is that there is no weight to the backpack itself. The only weight is the items inside of it. This backpack weighs pretty much nothing. And most of you probably have one of these at home, especially if you have kids. I actually just took this from my daughter Emily. Every year they get a new backpack from school, so I was just like, hey, give me one of your old backpacks and I'm gonna use it as my carry-on. So I'm going to dive right into this bag and show you everything that's inside. There is only one outside pouch I'll show you guys. So right in the front here is this little zipper compartment. So I'll show you what's in here first and then we'll go into the backpack itself. Okay, so in this little area here, in this front compartment, I just have my iPhone. I have a little mini wallet and I'll just keep my ID and my driver's license and maybe some cash in here. I have some wipes in case I wanna wipe things down or if I need to, whatever, clean things up. If I have sticky hands, whatever the case may be, wipes always come in handy. I just have a little um, hand lotion. I have my wireless earbuds, my little mini deodorant. I just thought this was so cute. I got it in the dollar spot at Target. And then I have this other hand lotion and a little hair tie. I have some peppermint lip balm, like little hair clippy thing. I just have my mini mouse brush and I like this because there's a mirror on it as well. And then the brush just pops out. So I'm going to have a brush with me just in case I need it. Then you can see actually there's like little flaps in here. So much of what I just showed you was in this little flap right here. And then on these flaps, I just have a nail file and then I have another um, lip balm. So then I just have a little package of tissues some Tic Tacs. That's everything that's in the front compartment. Now what I'm going to do is I will show you what I have in my little backpack. This is from Vera Bradley. And inside this little mini backpack, I just have one of my hand sanitizers. And this is probably my only liquid. My only two liquids are this little hand sanitizer and this hand lotion. So I'll probably just pull those out when I need to, when we're um, going through security. And then a scarf just tied to the back of the backpack because it's just good to have in case it gets cold on the flight. I can open it up really big and use it as a blanket. And I just tie it right on the back of my backpack here. So next I'm going to show you everything that is inside this backpack. Okay, I prefer to look at people when I talk to them. So <laughs> I just uh, brought my backpack up here. It's right in front of me and I'm just gonna pull everything out that I have in the main compartment of the backpack. I have a lot of bags that have stuff in them since this is just like a big empty backpack with no additional compartments. So when I purchased this, it was, like this little travel pillow. It has this little slippy thing where you can slip it on your luggage and there was a blanket inside. So when the blanket was inside, you could use it as a pillow. And what I did was I took the blanket out since I have my scarf and I just popped in one of these memory foam pillows. 
And what I like about the idea of doing this is oftentimes I don't like to use this as like a neck pillow. I like to use this, like when this is inside, it just makes a really nice big memory foam pillow. And I like to use it like against my back when I'm on the plane, just to be more comfortable when I'm sitting. Or I like to use it as just a regular pillow because I don't always want to just have like the neck support. Sometimes I just want like an actual pillow. So this really comes in handy and it also gives me a few different options. So I really like having this. And then I also have just like a little pair of fuzzy socks. Sometimes it's just more comfortable to take off my shoes. <laughs> Sorry, so these are slippery socks. Um, sometimes I think it's just more comfortable, especially on a long flight. For me, a four hour flight is pretty long. Um, it's nice to just get comfortable and put some socks on and just kind of relax and not be in your shoes the whole time. And then of course I have a little bag of snacks. I love these little reusable bags. I got this from Grove and they're hand washable or you can actually put them on the top rack of your dishwasher. So I just have some snacks in here and I'm also going to be able to re use this bag on our trip if I want to like pack things for the beach and stuff. And in case you're interested, the snacks that I am bringing are a little peanut butter cookie Laura bar. I have a Velveeta cereal bar in here and then I also have some pirate booty. And then I have my sunglasses. I always put my sunglasses in this hard case because this particular pair, which are my favorite Maui gyms, have shattered before. Um, I don't know how they break so easily, but I had them just like loose in a bag and when I took them out, they were completely shattered. So now I'm really, really careful about how I carry them with me. Usually I'm wearing them, but when I'm on the flight, I'm probably gonna have them in my bag and I wanna keep them safe. And then this is a really cool bag that I bought on Amazon and it's actually for keeping books in. So my idea in getting this bag was to have it for when I was on the beach so I can keep my book in here in the beach bag and not have it get ruined. But because it has so many different compartments, it worked really great for me in keeping all of like my electronic stuff together. So I'll quickly show you what I have in here. In this little compartment here, I have my portable hard drive that I use with my laptop, especially for my YouTube videos when I'm like editing and stuff, which I plan on doing on the plane. Um, I need to connect this to my laptop. I have a couple of pens. And then over here, I have like one of those little wipes to clean electronics with. And then I just have the cord for my hard drive. And then I have a notebook as well, just like a plain blank notebook in case I feel the need to take notes about something. And then on this side, I have my battery that goes with my camera, my extra battery, along with the charger for it. And then in here is the camera that I'm going to be bringing. I'm not going to be bringing my big Canon Rebel, which I'm actually using right now. Um, I just don't feel like carrying around a really big camera. We're going to Puerto Rico, we're gonna be on the beach a lot, so I want something just smaller and easier to travel with. So I'm bringing my Canon G7X, which I love this camera, it really does a great job anyway. And then I also have my little tripod here that I love to use as well. So I have all of my camera equipment kind of put all together nicely in this little bag, so it works out really well. And I like that I have my camera in this padded bag, but then I have like an additional padded bag that it's inside of, so I know it's getting that extra protection. And then in this little bag, I have all of like my medicines. So this is where I keep my kids' EpiPens. I have two children that both have peanut and Trina allergies. If you're new to my channel, I always have to have EpiPens with me. But in addition to that, I also have um, things like Band-Aids. I have like this motion sickness patch. I have some Advil cold and sinus. I just have like little sample small sizes of all different types of medicines. I have some Dranamine in case myself or one of the kids are feeling sick. And then I also have this motion sickness oil that I really like and it's like a peppermint lavender fragrance. So it also works well for headaches and just for like relaxing. So I just find myself using that combination of oils a lot anyway. And then I have some Advil. I have some Neosporin to go along with my band-aids in case somebody gets hurt. And what else do I have in here? Lots of motion sickness things. I have these C-bands, which I think work really well for motion sickness. I wear them a lot and my daughter Madison likes to wear them a lot as well. So I have an extra pair of those with me. And finally, I have just some like little 
earplugs that I think I got on another flight and I just popped them in there in case I need earplugs for some reason. Sometimes the plane is really loud and I hate the sound of all the noises on the plane, which is why I also always keep my um, headphones that are like noise canceling headphones because they help me a lot. I feel a lot more stressed out when I hear the sound of the engine and just like all the airplane sounds totally freak me out. So not being able to hear them has really been a game changer for me. So I would say if you are a little bit um, scared on flights, like I have always been in the past, getting noise canceling headphones really does help a lot. And then I'm bringing a few magazines. I'm probably not gonna to bring all of these with me. I'll put a couple in my luggage for the flight back. So I'll bring like two for the flight there, two for the flight back, but I never read the magazines that I get in the mail. So I have American Farmhouse. I have my Victorian Homes magazines that I love to get and then an Airbnb magazine. So I'll bring two with me. I like to read, but I can't focus on reading on a plane because there's so many distractions and I am really not in a relaxed state of mind. So I really really have a hard time focusing on reading, so magazines are perfect for the flight. And then I always um, also travel with my, kind of like my travel binder. Every trip has like a little binder of sorts or a little folder or something that I keep all of the confirmations in. So I have everything on my phone too, but for me, this is just something fun to put together and save. It's almost like a scrapbooking type of a thing. So for every special trip that we take, I usually have some type of a binder. You guys have probably seen me put together like my big Walt Disney World binder. I use a larger binder for my Walt Disney World trips because I just feel like there's so much more information. And if you're new to my channel, I am a travel agent for, I specialize in Walt Disney World vacations, but we do all vacations, so. Good to know, in case you're thinking of traveling to Disney sometime soon. But every trip has some type of a folder, so I have like my airline tickets are printed out in here, and my confirmation for the resorts that we're staying at are in here. We're doing like a day trip. We have like an island adventure where we take a catamaran out to a smaller island, and there's all kinds of like snorkeling and fun things to do. So I have the confirmation of payment for that in here as well. So anything relevant to the trip will go in here. And I just feel so much better having this with me and being able to grab these papers as we need them. And then the last thing that I have, and this is the heaviest of everything in my backpack, is my laptop. So in this Vera Bradley like little laptop case, I have my wireless headphones, which like I said, these are like so important to me. But I also have, there's like these little side flaps in here. I have the um, ability to connect them to my computer if they need to be charged and they stop working. I still have the ability of plugging them in. That's really important to me because I don't want to be like without headphones at all. And then I just have the cord for my laptop in case we get stuck at the airport or something happens or my luggage gets lost. Like I just like to know that I have the most important things to me, which would be my laptop and my camera and my cell phone. Like I want to make sure that those things are on me at all times. I never pass my laptop I just like it to be with me and then in the side of here I just have my MacBook Pro that I've been using for many years now and hopefully I'll have plenty of time for editing on the flight we actually just got back from the Jersey Shore so I have all of that video footage which will hopefully really be able to occupy my mind on the flight I usually can get really involved with editing so that has been really helpful to me on my most recent flights so hopefully that's what I will be able to do on this particular flight so that is everything that I am bringing with me on our flight. I hope that you enjoyed seeing what's in my carry-on. Let me know in the comments below if I'm missing something, if there's something that you typically bring with you that you find to be helpful on a flight. There are two things that I did not include in my bag yet. One is gum. That is something that I usually have with me as well because my ears do pop a lot and my kids as well. So I like to have gum to disperse to whoever needs it. And I will also have my cell phone charger packed in here. I don't have it packed right now because I'm still using it. We're still home for a couple of more days. So that'll go in there too. And 
I hope that you guys are all having a great summer. I hope that you've been enjoying seeing my videos this summer. I know they've all kind of been travel related or just kind of laid back and fun videos. It is the summertime and I'm doing a lot less like organizing and cleaning and stuff like that because First of all, we're hardly ever home. And second of all, it's the summertime and I just wanna enjoy this beautiful warm weather because we have had one heck of a winter in New Jersey. So I'm just really enjoying like having the warmth and the sun and enjoying time outdoors as much as possible. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully I'll have up my Jersey Shore vlog sometime soon. And right after that, you should be seeing some of my Puerto Rico vlogs. So I'm excited to share all of that with you guys. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your summer and I will see you real soon. Take care. Bye.